All right, guys, welcome to this episode. And in this one, I'm going to explain why everyone should have imposter syndrome. So it first makes sense to actually explain what imposter syndrome is. Basically, it is the feeling of feeling like a fraud when we are going after a particular thing, okay? So it could be that you are in your job and you feel like an imposter, fraud, and that you shouldn't have the job you're working on. Or it could be that you get some recognition and you feel like you don't deserve that recognition. And it could feel like you're starting a business and actually you feel like you're not good enough to gain success. Imposter syndrome can come in all shapes and forms. It could be self-sabotage, it could be deflecting praise, and of course, in many other areas, but the main one is feeling like an imposter, feeling like a fraud. And to be honest, the majority of people go through it, but they may not realize actually it is imposter syndrome that they're going through. Now, the bad side of imposter syndrome is that it stops people in their tracks. It causes doubt, it spurs on unconfidence, and as a result, it creates a state of inertia. People don't move forward, they don't progress towards their goals, or maybe even towards a certain dream that they have for their life. And this is very, very damaging because as we know, we've got one life to live and we want to make the most of it. And if you're letting this doubt and you know lack of confidence manifest itself inside your mind, then unfortunately, that is going to create a very limiting life. But at the start of this video or this episode, I explained that why I believe everyone should go through it. And my job on this episode is to actually change your perspective on imposter syndrome and actually encourage it into your life. So the thinking or stories and perspective we have about imposter syndrome will impact our lives ultimately negatively or positively. And previously, uh, you know, going after my own goals and uh, going after certain tasks and dreams that I want to accomplish, uh, I would have those thoughts of being insecure, uh, having a lack of confidence that this goal is too big for me to accomplish, that I haven't got the resources to get the job done, all these kind of negative thoughts about imposter syndrome. And those thoughts ultimately kept me where I was. It would keep me in my comfort zone where there's no um, there's no growth, okay? And what I found uh, throughout my own experiences and throughout my own journey and, you know, accomplishing certain goals is that Imposter syndrome is a sign that you are growing, okay? So instead of using it as an excuse to stay where I am because of those thoughts and kind of um, around incompetence to secure a goal, I would now flip imposter syndrome on its head and say that actually I am growing and I am supposed to feel this way because the goal and the task not only means a lot to me, but also that it's outside of my comfort zone. I need to step outside of it in order for me to grow as an individual and grow into the goal, okay? Many people, when they set in a goal, they feel like they will just work towards it, but actually, you're growing towards it. Sometimes we forget that every successful individual, whether it's a successful entrepreneur, a successful uh, movie star, singer, professor, whatever it may be, that they all started from day one. They all had their beginning stage. And they had to go through those thoughts of being insecure, their anxiety, their nervousness, their lack of uh, incompetence around their ear of expertise to start off with. Every successful person was once unsuccessful. Every professional was once an amateur. Every master was once a humble student. And the thing that we have to realize is that we have to go on that journey, we have to grow, and we have to go through those thoughts if we are ever going to achieve some kind of success. For me, if I'm not having imposter syndrome, and trust me, there's been stages where I feel confident and I feel like I've got things under control and I'm not nervous and I haven't got anxiety, you would think that that is a nice place to be, and it is but it, I'm operating in my area of comfort. And in that area of comfort, that's where goals, dreams, ambition dies. Complacency sets in. And I would also say that I'm not challenging myself. I'm playing it safe. And that very lack of challenge and 
keeping within my means is actually causing unhappiness. It causes regret and it causes being unfulfilled. So next time you get impost syndrome, don't let that be a signal to hide and remain where you are. Let it be a signal to grow. Let it be a signal to act because through those very actions, that will lead to a happy, fulfilled and prosperous life. And that's why everyone should have imposter syndrome. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And if you have got value, please do hit that like button and subscribe. It goes a long way to help with the algorithms. And also, if you have got value and you feel like this would help someone else, please don't forget to share too. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next episode.